Hey guys, here's another one of the really cool interviews that I get to do as part of this EOS R class. And again, some people have been given early access to the EOS R. These are world famous leading photographers. And we caught up with Roberto Valenzuela. You are traveling all over the place, man. How you doing? Been great, Larry. Thank you. Yeah, I was in Germany for, for uh, Photokina yesterday. And now I'm in Washington, D.C. for my posing workshop here. So it's been, been non stop. Thanks. Thank you so much for dialing in from the local hotel. I want to ask you, <laughs> using the EOS R, how is it different moving from, because I know you use DSLRs all the time. Now you're using mirrorless. What kind of big differences can people look out for? So the first time I grabbed the camera, I got, I got a hold of it, and it was um, given to me in Cincinnati, Ohio, and then also in Chicago. And I did a photo shoot with doing a photo walk. And this is my first time me touching a mirrorless camera, and it was, uh, it was definitely uh, an experience because one thing that I noticed is when you go from one DSLR to another DSLR, nothing really changes in the way you shoot. But when you go from a DSLR to this mirrorless EOS R, uh, things change. And that, cha that was very evident very quickly. One of the main things that I noticed is because I've never had the focus and system be part of the, pro part of the process or part of the sensor, it, uh, I was able to use that eye auto focus. And I, I was able to put the model on the ground with some really cool light hitting her bouncing off the sidewalk. And I was able to pull the camera up and fire with it, knowing that it was striking her eye. So as she moved her face left and right, left and right, I was able to fire off. The camera was just, I could concentrate on my composition and the camera just kept track of her eye. That would have been impossible with a DSLR because when you're shooting at apertures of 2.0 and a person moves, you would have to put your eye in the viewfinder, re put the little red dot on the person's eye and then reshoot. So I realized very quickly that it opens up shooting opportunities that give you accurate focusing very quickly and I thought that was really interesting. The other one that I thought was really cool, because it has almost an infinite amount of focusing points, the camera has a feature called touch and drag and it's in the advanced menus, but if you look at that feature, touch and drag, there is absolute and relative choices. And it basically splits the screen into, into a quadrant. So if you wanna be the photographer that puts, the, the, puts your eye into the electronic viewfinder, instead of do, doing the touch screen, if you wanna actually focus by using the, the, view, the viewfinder, the screen turns off, but then the top right quadrant or top left or whatever quadrant you choose, with your, you touch the thumb on that, screen on that quadrant and you drag it and that changes your focusing points to all these crazy amounts of focusing points. So you can just put your eye on the electronic viewfinder, then grab your thumb, touch the screen on the top right quadrant and it will, the focusing point will activate immediately and it, you can actually say track the eye and it will start tracking the eye on that screen. Once you do that, you can let go and fire away. And if you want to focus on something else, you touch that screen and you move your thumb a little bit and just that little quadrant moves relative to the entire focusing range of the EOS R. That changes the way you shoot, for sure. Um, the third thing I noticed that was really interesting that I couldn't do with the DSLR was the focusing in very dark situations and then being able to use a flash to fire and get that cool uh, combination of flash and, and, uh, and whatever you were using for ambient. But if the ambient light is very low, so let's say you're shooting in a dark banquet hall or in a dark library, very moody, you basically don't have to worry about how dark the, the room is. The camera will find the person, and on top of that, it will track their eye in complete darkness, which is pretty ridiculous if you ask me. Uh, that was really interesting to me. And the fourth thing I would say, it was very fun for me to not have to fight the shutter be so audible. So because of, I was firing away, and you don't hear any noise in the silent uh, silent shooting mode. People, I was able to actually get the camera out of my eye and talk to my clients or to the model I was just doing the photo walk and pose her. She thought she didn't even know I was actually taking her photo. So that changes everything because that allows me to have a better, a more human interaction instead of having a camera barrier between me and, and the person I'm shooting. Those are, those are my four big takeaways for me, Larry. Roberto Valenzuela, what a talented guy and a generous person sharing all kinds of great insights. Make sure that you check him out there on the web. And Roberto, thanks again for being a part of the EOS R class at Kelby One. Thank you so much, Larry. Appreciate it. And thank you to Kelby One for putting this together. Have a good one, guys.